It's your boy, T. Lay. Oh, yeah. Going over here and talking about this lovely 2019 Dodge Durango RT. Emphasis on RT, you know. But yeah, this is the red. This is the red RT, four door SUV. This is the SUV for the fathers, you know. If, you, if you're a father, before you let your woman convince you into getting a minivan, say, baby, let's look at this RT over here. It's got the same thing as a minivan, and it's definitely gonna be nice for her, you know? As you can see, it's four doors. It's got the big boy 20s. I'm thinking these 20s, I ain't for sure, but I'm pretty sure they are 20s. So you see that? Look at that. That's I already got the little Dodge emblem in there. She gonna like that off the gate. Go back here. You ain't an official RT unless you got this. So fellas, you get this and ladies, cause ladies like horsepower too. Now don't get it twisted. Ladies like horsepower too. You ain't got set up for no minivan. You can be the soccer mom or just be the cool mom in your RT, baby. This is the RT Durango. Let's see if this is proper. Oh, there we go. And it's also all wheel drive. Just to let y'all know, this is all wheel drive. A little bit of little space back here. Push on that. Bam. You could probably put a little little suitcase or something in here. <laughs> but you can put a whole bunch of stuff back here. And I'm pretty sure this folds down. Yes, it does. As you can see. Look at that. Folds down. Let's pull it back up. But I just want to let y'all know it folds down. You throw a little charger right here. Throw a little charger in there. Bam. Look at that. You can be back there. This is charger too. Nope. This button let it down. Let me see that. I just guessed right there, but I'm assuming this button lets it down. Oh, it does! <laughs> That's nice. I ain't know it had that. That's fire. And it locks on its own, but just in case, come back there and push on it. That's four. That means four wheel drive. For y'all, like, man, that says four. I thought you said it was a V8. That just said that means four wheel drive. See that four? Dodge nah, four wheel drive. You can get it from RB Car Company. See that? RB Car Company. Shout out to Brandon, my guy. This is, this is the other side of it. I'll tell you a little, let me give you a little trinkets, a couple little trinkets that's on this, that to come with this. Now, if you come to RB and get this, it's gonna be as is, but it's a 2019, so it's still under factory warranty. Still pretty much got your powertrain warranty. Depending on how, this only got 17,000 miles on it, so you still got your bumper to bumper and your factory your powertrain warranty. A couple little things that this bad boy got is an eight cylinder. V8, 5.7, 360 horsepower, all-wheel drive. Remember that, you can get all your power with that. We got dual climate control. We got a backup cam. Adjustable steering, heating, heated seats. This bad boy got everything. Bluetooth connect, U-connect, USB, Wi-Fi hotspot. You got everything on here, man. This, this, this one's pretty, I ain't gonna say it's fully, fully loaded, but it's loaded. It ain't fully, fully loaded, but it's loaded. It's loaded, loaded. This bad boy is loaded, loaded. It's got leather. This got leather in the, on the side of the I don't know how they said it, but you know how Dodge do. They do leather on the outside, cloth in the middle. Vented seats. So that means it's got heated seats and vented seats. So in the summertime, if you, if you hot, hit that vented seat, go shoot that air up there. You know what I'm talking about. Go get you right. Let me, I'm gonna sit in here and let you see what I'm talking about. It's nice, cozy. See that? You can put your, your kids can put their little books, their little iPad, something right there, anything. They can put their little iPad right there. This got heated seats in the back also. You know it's, it's pretty much fully loaded. Bam, it's got heated seats. Hit them buttons, heat them seats up. Bam. You got you, you control your own air back here. Then you got the uh, USB ports for the chargers. It's only two, so if you got three kids back there, somebody gonna be out of luck. Then again, like I said, you go on a little camping trip, plug that in, you might have a little heater or something, plug that in. Don't leave it plugged in all night because you your battery gonna be dead. But yeah, chop on the bottom here. Like I said, it's leather. And come here, let me get you a little trinket right here. A lot of cars don't come with this, but Dodge, that's a cup holder right there. So you got a cup holder right there. A lot of cars don't come with that. Basically, this is basically a little backseat action. Uh-oh. So that's, Two cup, hold, cup holder in the door, cup holder on that door, and two more cup holders. That's four cup holders in the back. Ain't nobody gonna be mad. Nobody. Let's put that on back up there. That's enough for the back seat. Let me let me sit back here one more time. Let's see. 
I'm 5'6", but I feel like I'm 6'7". But look at that. Headroom. So at least a six foot person can sit back here comfortably. Maybe, maybe talk. This bad boy got a sunroof too. In case y'all didn't know, it's got a sunroof. Yeah, it's got a sunroof up there, bam. Before we get inside, we might as well go ahead and check out that power plant, motor, part. 5.8 liter V8, bad boy. Look at that grill, they got that grill. It's got the same grill that my uh, Daytona Scat Pack got. Same grill. So you know what that mean, right? Fast, very fast. So you real sporty, you got your fog lights right here. On the, at the bottom of the grill, you got the mesh grill. Put you a little uh, license plate in the front if you want to, if you don't have to. Boom, you got your big boy V8 5.7. You can't really see it because it got the shield over it. But if you pop that off of there, it's a young Hemi under there. It's got your battery. This is this is your battery's in the back, pretty much. Pretty. Sure. This is just a fuse box right here. This is your air box. I ain't gonna say it's a cool air intake, but it's your air box. That's enough of the motor, man. It's got 360 horsepower. That's all you really need to know. You got some power. You got some muscle. Muscle. You got your turn signals right there. So when you turn it, people can see. That way they, ain't, they can't say they didn't see you say you was turning. We're going to go ahead and get inside this bad boy. I'm going to shut this hood. Because I'm about to I'm going to take this bad boy. Well, get this right here. This is a... See, people be like, these are functional air vents. So it, get, it gives the motor... See? When you're driving, you're giving the motor air. These are functional. Most cars, these are just for show. These are functional, as you can see. Functional. Probably only come like that on RTs and SRTs. Uh, the basic ones probably don't got functional ones. I'm not for sure, but let me know in the comments if you got a, not an RT, but a basic one in. Are yeah, your best functional? But let's go ahead and shift this because we taking this out. About to get in this bad boy. Let's see what it's talking about inside. Look at that Cadillac. Put on the Cadillac real quick. Woo! That's crazy. You know I had to throw that in there, man. You know I love cars. Get it on up in this bad boy. We're gonna check out the inside of this bad boy. Yeah, I'm about to start this bad boy up and I'm gonna rev it up so y'all can hear what that motor sound like. It ain't got no super exhaust on it, but you're gonna hear it. He hating on me with the little bitty car. Can't even hear because he got his exhaust up. Let's rev it up a little bit. Let's see what it's talking about. That's cool enough for a family vehicle. It ain't gotta be all loud like that. I don't, this don't look like no 8 inch screen, but we're gonna throw it an 8 inch screen. But this, this it don't look like it. It's probably, it looked a little smaller than an 8 inch screen, but it looked like an 8 inch screen. We got your U-Connect. This is U-Connect for all Dodge people. Anybody's Dodge, U-Connect. Got your little touch screen. Look at that. Ooh, it's, it's, it's pretty fast. Look how fast it is when you touch on it. That's faster than mine, ain't it? I got a Daytona 392. You got your radio. It's like any other Dodge. You can change your little radio stations right here as you can see i'm changing it it's a little button on the back of the steering wheel for y'all that don't know it's a button i'm changing it with and this is the, how you control the volume turn it back down real quick i just want to let y'all see turn that off gotcha turn it back on turn it down i i i, I i'm not trying to get no copyrights <laughs> but yeah and then you got your cluster right here you got your rpms you got your fuel over here then you got a cluster in the middle. It's telling you everything about the car. You got your miles per hour. You got your miles per hour. There's another miles per hour. This is for text messaging, music. I'm just giving y'all a little bit, man. Y'all can, y'all can, you, you can, uh, you can tell what it is. I'm just showing y'all a little bit. That's nice, but that cluster is nice. It's nice and big. It's, as you can see, it's big in the middle. That's about a four inch cluster. Then you got your little, look at this. This is when you know you're official. This ain't just no regular SUV. You got paddle shifters right here. That let you know you can get busy, speed-wise. Nice. It's, as you can see, it's Alcantara leather. In the, it's leather Alcantara. That's what they call it. I might be pronouncing it wrong. If I am, tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. You got your gear shift, park, you know, reverse, neutral drive. That's for two USB ports for chargers. Then you got another one right there for your for your uh, gas station charger. Two cup holders. Then you got two in the doors. You got one in two, 
two with one in that door, one in that door, two more. Check that out. Check. Oh man, I'm, I'm a little stronger than I thought I was. Real spacious right inside of there. Bam, that's where you can put your phone at. The little secret compartment. James Bond. Yeah. Nice little headrest. Look, if you're waiting for your uh, fiance or somebody to come out the grocery store, you want to take a little nap. <laughs> I just woke up. Yeah. Got that sunroof, baby. Come on, man. It's bad for you. Let me see how to work this. Let me see. Woo, you see that? Welcome to the jungle. Let's just shut that up. It's nice though, man. Come on up here to R&B and get this bad boy. This is this is pretty much fully loaded. Only thing you ain't got is those fancy wheels on it. But yeah, you got all your little buttons on here. Get your cruise control over here. This how you flip uh, through the cluster over here. Phone, hang up, answer phone, speaker phone. You know, like basic cars, you got your little window stuff right here. This, this Durango got seat adjustments. You got your one and two. That's for his and hers. His and hers, or her, or hers and his. Whoever's car, main main car is. We used to think that was a speed button. Remember the thing? Now you know what it was. <laughs> well, you knew what it was, I did. Mm, yeah. You get it right. But yeah, we about to go ahead and take this bad boy for a quick little spin, test it out, see what it's talking about. Well, before we do that, well, he did the back. I'm tripping. My mind's playing tricks on me. Let's go. Ride. Bye, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hey, before we go anywhere, safety first, baby. We're just going to give it a quick little... We're just going to give it a quick little ride around. You know, quick ride around the block. This is somebody else's potential car. So I'm not trying to put no miles on it like this. I'm just going to give you a quick little around the block. Let you know how I feel as I'm going around the block. So you know, that way if you want to come up here and get this whip, or if you ever want to go get you a Durango, you know a little bit something, because T-Light told you what he, how he felt. Now let's ride. Look both ways, T-Light. We don't want to turn nobody's stuff up. I got to move this seat up some more, man. I'm littler than a month. Man, don't judge me for my height, y'all. I'm going to pull on in front of him. Ooh, it's, mm, I see, you can hear that. You can feel that little hemi. You can feel that hemi. Let's go, baby. Okay. You can, you can, if you listen closely, you can actually hear that hemi. And you can actually hear the hemi. Let me roll that window up so y'all can hear that hemi. Oh, yeah. I feel the cool. I'm feeling like the cool dad right now. You ain't even gotta be a cool dad to ride this car. This is just a this is just a cool SUV, period. Anybody can get in this and feel cool. I'm definitely feeling cool and it's, it's definitely comfortable. It don't sit as high as like a Jeep or something like that, but it sit high enough. I feel like I'm looking down on you. If I pull up next to a car, I'm definitely looking down on them. The mirrors are positioned quite well. Everything's comfortable in here. It's right there. The infotainment system is right there for you. You ain't gotta fight to get to it. It's basically right there for you. I know it's got to be comfortable for a passenger. Heated seats, vented seats. Come on now, you can't beat that. You can't beat that with a baseball bat. Yeah, I feel cool driving this. Although I wouldn't let my lovely Christine convince me into getting one, but to each his own. I'm digging it. I'm going to get on it a little bit. Not, not a lot, but we just going to get on it. Just going to quick little pull so... We can feel it. We, we need to know that that Hemi's there. I need to make sure it is a Hemi in here. But other than that, I'm feeling cool. You know, I can switch through this. If I want to listen to some music, I could. Ooh, it's touch. You turn it up. Well, ain't nothing on right now, so. But yeah. Oh yeah, I can feel that Hemi. I can feel that Hemi. Dodge, Mopar, no car. One thing about Dodge is, for sure, they do focus on comfortable how make making the comfort the car comfortable for the driver i gotta give it to them with that i don't know what kind of sound system is in this but i'm pretty sure it's nice and loud it really ain't got no music so i can't really figure out i don't know no radio stations so we just gonna have to we just gonna have to assume now let's find a radio station we ain't gonna i ain't gonna do you like that Probably on the satellite. I don't. I don't know. We ain't gonna worry about it. We 
go let Christine help us out. System is a okay. We're gonna get a system two thumbs up. I'm definitely feeling comfortable in this bad boy. Got the lumbar in my back, so just in case you can control the lumbar with the seats. So in case you like got back problems, you definitely can control that. Go ahead and bust this turn real quick. It feel good. The steering is good. It's nice and tight. Not too tight, some, cause some cars, they, the steering is over, it's too tight. This is just right. We got a couple cars coming, so we gotta be safe. I ain't gonna do no pull when there's two cars coming straight for me. I don't know how much power this truck got. So. I'm gonna give you a quick little pull real quick. Oh yeah. You can definitely feel the 360. You hear that, you hear that Hemi parent? Purring, purring, what's purring? Purring. <laughs> purring, you can hear the Hemi purring. I don't want no Hemi like that. I want my Hemi to purr. I'm gonna open it up a little bit more, one more time, just to make sure. Yeah. Hey, anybody, before you get a minivan, Looking to get you a Durango, man. This 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 is this is fly. I like this, man. You got get your RT Durango because you got the speed and the comfortability. You got everything a minivan got, but you got speed in this, and you stylish. This is a sporty SUV. But to each his own. Don't get me wrong. If you like minivans, you like minivans. That's on you. I can't tell you what to like, but I definitely recommend the Dodge Durango. And if you're looking for getting the Dodge Durango, don't don't fail. RB car company will help you out to get that car or that Durango or whatever you're trying to get. Brandon or Jordan or any other other staff will help you get into the car that you want. They're not just going to try to force you into a vehicle that you don't want. So if you're looking to get this Durango, it is on a lot right now. I don't know how much it costs. I'll let you talk to them about that, but I will leave a link in the description below to where you can get in contact with them and all the other RB car companies. And uh, I'll holler at you a little later when I go park this bad boy. A little trinket. A little trinket for y'all, man. I didn't use it, but this 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 Durango does have sports mode, as you can see. It got, it got sports mode. I didn't know that. Sorry about that, but I'll give you a quick little pull. That way you can know it's got it's sporty already. Woo! You can feel that, man. <laughs> You can feel that power. That's the sport mode for you. I told y'all I was gonna give you a tad, not too much. This ain't mine to be doing that, but I'm gonna holler at you when I park it. It's your boy, t -Lay -Lay -Lay. Just got back from taking this bad boy on a spin. And uh, let me tell you, two thumbs up. So if you're looking to get a minivan, check out one of these before you do that. Or whatever, man. If you're looking to get any kind of SUV, make sure you check out this, Durango. RT with the big boy V8 in it. They got different trim packages too, but I'll let you figure that out. But uh, if you don't like this red one at R&B, we got something for you. We got this white out. White, we got this white guy. White, white guy right here. Same kind of truck, you know what I'm saying, RT. Both got the same motor, pretty much the same package. If you look inside, they're pretty much the same. Everything's pretty much the same. So, if you're trying to get in contact with R&B, Brandon, or Jordan, or any other other staff, they will help you get into this. Now credit is important, but they will help you get into it. Or that one. Anyone you want, I will leave a link in the description below. And uh, R&B Car Company, shout out to R&B Car Company for showing your boy T Light some love, letting him do these car reviews because they don't have to let me do these. So again, if you got can support R&B car company, they're a good company, man. I done bought four vehicles from here. I wouldn't send y'all to somebody that's gonna do you dirty. They done did me great. They just gave my sister a wonderful car. So I'm telling you, man, y'all come up here and get you a vehicle that you wanna get in. And hey, I appreciate you. And with that being said, y'all stay positive. Stay away from negative people. Do your thing. Strive for your dreams. Never settle, never settle for less. I'm stuttering a little bit, but never settle for less. And always strive for 
greatness. And it's your boy T. Oh yeah. And I'm out this piece. That's what they call me. Promise that you never.